This question is important because it talks to us about the relationship between the coefficients of the, ex of the equation and the delta H that you get. So how much heat is released by the reaction shown when one mole of diiron trioxide is produced? And they give you the reaction of four moles of iron solid reacting with three moles of oxygen gas forming two moles of the uh, diiron trioxide. The enthalpy for this reaction right here is minus 1,652 kilojoules. Notice that this delta H is actually for two moles, the formation of two moles of the diiron uh, trioxide. So when they ask us to calculate the heat for one mole, we're going to have to make some adjustments right here. So first, this right here, if we want to go ahead and do like a conversion factor of the delta H, this uh, 1652 kilojoules is for every two moles of the diiron compound form, the oxide formed right here. So we need to take this into account when we just want to calculate it for one mole. I'm sorry, I moved the paper. So if you wanted to do it for just one mole, let's just do the conversion right here. One mole of the iron oxide. We're going to use this conversion factor. We know that two moles of the iron oxide that we're going after release uh, 1,652 kilojoules. So that gives you that for each mole of the oxide, it releases 826 kilojoules. Remember, the negative tells you that the reaction is exothermic and that the heat is going to be released into the surroundings. Now, how much heat is going to be released when one gram of the iron is reacted with excess oxygen? So this excess oxygen, whenever they actually put excess, that means that you have plenty of oxygen to do the reaction and then some more. So you don't have to calculate limiting reagents or anything. The excess, you're going to, the excess oxygen is going to give you everything that you need and then there's going to be some left over. That means that the one gram you can assume that the one gram is going to be your limiting reagent. All right, well, let's calculate how many moles are in a gram of iron. So let's start with one gram of iron. The atomic weight of iron is 55.85 grams per mole. And now we're going to use a different conversion factor because this delta H is for whenever we have four moles of the iron, uh, iron shavings, iron uh, solid, and they want it for one gram. So we're going to go ahead and do a, a little bit of a different conversion factor. This one is for the mo four moles of iron. So four moles of iron releasing... 1,652, I don't know why I did it in red, but my grams cancel, my moles cancel, and one gram of iron is going to release 739 kilojoules of heat.